Right, I'm still going to use the same portrait. We're going to do something completely different this time. We're going to work on those big bags under the eyes. And in Adobe Photoshop CS6, we're going to use the patch tool. And we're going to use the patch tool because the patch tool now comes uh, with a content aware setting. <laughs> so let's get a bit close on this. Control plus or command plus plus. Let's get in there and let's look at those bags under the eyes. They're pretty horrific. Um, I'm going to go over here and look at the patch tool. And you can see there on the top here, we've got a content aware setting. Still got the normal setting, uh, but let's look at content aware. I'm going to do the adaptation. I'm going to have it as a loose adaptation just to keep the edges quite soft. You can play around with all different settings there, but for the moment, I'm just going to uh, mouse down, sort out these areas underneath here. Uh, let's do it on a copy background layer and rename it. And uh, I'm just going to call this one content aware. For no other reason, then it's going to be my content aware retouching area. So that's all set up and uh, just mouse down. I'm going to define an area just by drawing around it here with the patch tool uh, and just joining it up there. And uh, just going to drag it off and find an area uh, that's suitable, not got too, too much going on in there. And let Photoshop itself sort that out. Again, I'm going to define another area over here. Now, one of the things you can do, if you make a mistake, let's just do this as a small one. Uh, Control D, Command D, that'll get you out of that. Uh, and then you can go back in again and define a bigger area with the patch tool. So let's just draw around there. You see, I'm just I'm not really uh, spending a lot of time on this. Just quickly doing it to show you what this patch tool is capable of. Uh, we can go in again and again, just define some areas. Uh, drag it off to an area of skin texture. You can use it for big spots, all kind of things. Uh, moving around. I know this is getting to the exciting stage. You're just watching me using the patch tool. Um, but you can see there, it's done a reasonable job. Uh, I'm not trying to plasticize the skin on this at all. I'm just at the moment working on these crease lines, these darker lines, uh, just to. Uh, let the patch tool in content aware in Adobe CS6 uh, do its business. Okay, so let's just go out again. That's what it looks like now. Okay, <laughs> looks like some extreme plastic surgery, but let's use the opacity slider. And this is where the magic comes in. We can actually uh, reduce the effect of those bags under the eyes just by working with the opacity. And you can see there, that's done quite a decent job of reducing the effects that's old age skin wear and tear let's have a look before and after and that's using quickly using the patch tool and some opacity we can do other things as well uh, we've used the opacity gone up and down uh, to taste try your blend modes as well and the other one to do is light and you can see there that brings back some of that skin texture that uh, poor work in there uh, again let's just go back in with the opacity slider go up and down and using the light and blend mode so we're retaining uh, skin texture, but uh, reducing the effect of those uh, bags under the eyes. See, they're quite horrendous. We're using opacity and a blend mode. You might want different layers. You might want to have a normal layer and a light layer. Uh, you might want to use the patch tool. But we chose the patch tool. Uh, we went up and chose content aware. Uh, we tried loose. Try some of the other ones as well. Uh, just play around. Medium's good for portraits. Very loose, very good. Uh, you might want to use very strict and strict for different things like architecture or whatever else. Uh, worked under the eyes, uh, worked on the skin on a background copy layer which we renamed as Content Aware. And then we've played around with the opacity just to have a, a look and see. Uh, and uh, Blend modes as well, normal and lighten. There are other blend modes in there. You may want to play around with those. This is just to get you in the groove and get you started thinking about using the patch tool for some uh, very quick extreme retouching. Uh, so if you've got a, um, a portrait where you just need to lighten up things, this is one of those quick ways of uh, achieving uh, some pretty nice results. Nice. And just play around with the opacity and tune it to taste. Okay, that's been me again. Uh, that's been a quick introduction to the Content Aware Patch Tool in Adobe CS6. Until the next time, bye for now.